Convidamos ao palco para sua palestra o presidente da Huawei do Brasil, senhor Sam Baotin. It's my pleasure to be here again. I think last time is uh, three years ago, 2019. I think three years passed. Today, I would like to express uh, some Huawei viewpoints about this, uh, digital power. As you know, ICT infrastructure is really the engine for digital power, especially for 5G. Uh, so. Today, my topic is lighting up the future. Uh, yeah, currently, the digital economy developed very fast. Also, digital economy is really engine for uh, economic growth. Uh, as you know, now in the world, more than 50% will be digitalized in 2022. Also, in many reasons, also countries announced very huge ICT investment plan. For example, in Euro European Union, they launched the next generation plan. In China, launched the new infrastructure plan. Also in South Korea, uh, they launched Korean Deal uh, zero, uh, dot zero, this plan. It means this is very important for digital economy, for the total uh, economy, for the society. For ICT infrastructure, is cornerstone of the digital power operators uh, during this period will play a very important role in for digital economy. Uh, in Huawei's view, when we how to evaluate digital. Uh, economy vitality. Usually, we we measure these three factors. The first is connection. The second is computing. The third is carbon reduction. Uh, these three factors could be used by operators to to be three levers to uh, drive the digital economy. For example, in connection, operators can. Uh, expand their 5G users as well. They can expand this uh, uh, the the business to to achieve the commercial success. The second for connection, also operators can create the synergy between the connection also and the IT to drive the industrial digitalization for the new growth for the. Green IT areas, uh, carbon reduction. Also, Huawei the view is we can deliver the ICT solution, provide delivers more, uh, more bits, less ones. So currently, 5G. Uh, as you know, la last year the Anatel organized the auction. I think this very successful case in the world. Uh, Let's see what happened during two or three years in the world. 5G now is achieving the very impressive the growth. We, from this table, you can see, we can compare the 4G and the 5G. When this the new generation launched at the beginning of three years, what is the difference? We can see 5G is really much faster than 4G in terms of commercial network, in terms of population coverage also, uh, if you check this smart smartphone, the tabs is really as a different compared to 4G. So this is why we have so confidence for 5G development in the next uh, decade. Also in the world, some leading uh, mobile operators, five pioneers, are crossing the chasm. What is chasm? Uh, chasm is uh, we can see there's two points, 10 percent. Also is around 20 percent chasm. It means the threshold is the uh, how to measure this is 5G users penetration 
as well 5G traffic offload. You can see this like uh, the, some leading uh, operators, for example, China Mobile, South Korea, LG Plus, as well the gen from Kuwait, also from Finland, Elisa. Uh, Elisa. This is their revenue also, uh, 5G penetration increased a lot in the past two or three years. Also, uh, 5G now is uh, have very good progress. We can see what 5G can bring to Earth. What is the different experience? The first, 5G can enrich our digital lifestyle. Also, can extend operators' user base. Uh, in the in the in the past uh, two or three years, operators also partners develop a lot of 5G applications with the new experience. For example, in China. Uh, China Mobile developed a 5G AR museum. In China, more than 100 right, museums develop this kind of the service. They cooperate with operators. Also, they build yes, revenue yeah, share, the new business good. model. All the partners, all the ecosystem can share this business. Also, from this case, the museum uh, can attract more than 20% uh, visitor. Also, they can bring this around 24 percent, this uh, this revenue as well. Also for other areas, for example, 5G plus new video, especially for sports. Uh, now when 5G is coming, we can see this sports from different angles, free free view or multi view. I think it's really different experience compared to before. As well, China Mobile based on this requirement for 5G. They plan to upselling the win-win plan. I can give an example. Uh, just one case. In 40 areas, 20 giga is a mainstream. That moment, the users just uh, pay $20. But when 5G is coming, uh, operators upgrade this, uh, this the package to, to $24. It means users just pay more $4. They can get double the data. I think this is a win-win result. Why? Because the the users get more uh, data and pay less price per giga, but operators can get more up. For sure, uh, the cost decreases a lot because 5G is more efficient compared to 4G. This is the win-win result. I'm sorry. Except this, uh, the subscriber or users, also 5G can accelerate uh, industry digitalization, also can extend this business, especially in 2B areas, from private line to the uh, industry digitalization. From private, private line, before we only think this private line to be only the fix of fiber, but now when 5G coming, I think it's for where this also can provide private line this private line is easier to deploy it, and also now already uh, it was used widely in the world. Uh, for example, in, in this world, now more than 30 uh, operators already deployed 60,000 in different scenarios. I can give an example in, in Germany, uh, some uh, when operators deployed the private line for the RV, the park. Also, the users can very fast to get this connection. I think the 5G is easier to be monetized, except this case as well for some case, for example, small and middle, uh, middle office as well, some gas stations, some rural school. A lot of case can be, can be applied to this private line as well, except this also in, in different uh, main industry uh, areas in the past uh, uh, years, uh, operators already developed uh, more than 3,000 applications for 2B. I think this really can drive this uh, 2B market go to the digital. Sorry. Except this 5G, also we need to consider the synergy between the connecting and the also the IT, this really also can drive the B2B digital transformation. 
the first day for IT and ICT plus CT, when 5G uh, is coming, 5G will uh, create more data in CT, also the IT areas. Uh, I think this demand requires uh, this kind of solution is more efficient. Also, the unified the story in Indonesia, Huawei, and cooperate with the local operators to, to apply the Huawei One Stories solution, and then this total TCO can be cut 30 percent. It's more efficient. The second, uh, in Hungary, Vodafone and Huawei develop uh, a project. The project name is uh, East West, a railway uh, real, railway station. And they use this the 5G plus the cloud plus AI the solution to guarantee 20 milliseconds. This is the low latency. It means remote control operation is available, is possible. This really improved the four times efficiency. Another case in as well in, in China, there's a province the uh, the China Mobile, it, the name is Zhejiang. Uh, they provide uh, a solution for uh, steel and iron. The manufacturer also use the 5G plus AI. This solution, this solution can provide model training on the cloud, and also uh, in the edge they can check this inspection, the quality inspection. Also, this can save a lot of cost for sure. Improve the profit. Uh, improve the efficiency. The third one is green. I think this is very hot. The uh, the the topic. Uh, ICT green solution is the key for sustainable growth of digital economy. Uh, ICT solution could help all the other industries to reduce their carbon emission, reduce the carbon footprint 10 times. 10 times. This is very, very important. For Huawei, the ICT solution, we provide three layers, the green solution. The first layer, uh, green size, including the data center. The second, we provide simplified or, or, or optical uh, the network. The third layer is intelligent operation. All these solutions could help our partners to reduce their carbon emission as well uh, reduce their power consumption. Uh, Huawei, as you know, Huawei in Brazil is 24 years. We start 1998. Uh, just now I talk a lot about global, the, about the 5G case. Actually in Brazil, we started this uh, 5G, the case application is two or three years ago. In the past three years, we cooperate with uh, our partners, also operators. We developed a lot of applications in different areas. For example, in agriculture, in mining, in, in warehouse logistics, as well in, in manufacture. We built smart manufacture, as well in media areas. Uh, actually, this is not dream, it's reality already. Uh, except this business, uh, I think is for talent as well. Ecosystem is more, is more important for 5G, this, uh, for telecom industry. Uh, Huawei cooperates with more than 100 universities and uh, institutions. We train around 36,000 uh, 36, uh, uh, students as well. Here we have two ecosystem centers also, we cooperate uh, association as well. We built a joint lab with uh, more than 30 universities to drive this digital economy. The, the last page, okay, the last page is, this is the 5G, uh, 5G roadshow car. I think most uh, people you guys already saw in the, in the hotel, in the parking areas, we bring this car to here, uh, as I mentioned, Except the business, I think the talent, also the ecosystem is very important. This car, we will show the, the global 5G, also Brazil, the 5G progress, also end-to-end -end solution technology. 
Except this, we will bring some application case for agricultural mining. Also in this car, we have classroom, training classroom. We will drive this car to different states, go to the big, middle, also small cities. We will invite, invite our customer, partner, as well community, especially for students to visit this car to learn together. So let's work together to let up, let up digital life to Brazil society. Obrigado.